hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to the diva family so today i have a couple empties that i want to show you guys um i was going through my stuff and i realized that i did not include hair care products in my end of 2022 empties video while i was cleaning up i was like wait i never showed you guys what products i emptied recently as far as my natural hair goes now I didn't finish as many products as I thought I would or I don't remember if I threw some away but I really don't go through shampoos as much I don't go through stylers as much the one product that I would say I use the most are deep conditioners I'm pretty heavy-handed with my deep conditioners but at the same time like the really good ones a little bit goes a long way like my briogeo and stuff like that a little bit goes a long way so yeah i really don't have that many products so i just have this little bag that i show you guys showed you guys in my blog so i'm just gonna show you guys what i have in here go through them really really quick shouldn't be a long video so if you want to see what i used up at the end of the year then keep on watching and let's see what's in the bag I'm just going to grab them, no particular order, and just talk about them a little bit. So the first thing I grab is the Aztec Clay Mask. I know I talked about this, um, I think I mentioned this in a video recently when I was doing my natural hair. I like to keep this on hand. I think this was the first one I bought, maybe. Okay, I first tried it about two or three years ago, did a reset. Fell in love with it. Um, I don't use it as often as I probably should use it, but I know when my hair needs it, I know when to reach for it. It is such a good product. I even got my mom hooked on this. She's always telling me whenever she do a clay mask. Um, I, whenever I use it on my hair, I just like to go ahead and use it on my face. Whenever I do reach for this, I just know that I'm gonna use it on my hair, on my face. It's a nice reset. So it's a good um, product to have for if you have acne to clear your pores, stuff like that. What it does with your natural hair is it's gonna pull out all the toxins out of your hair. It's gonna just remove all the buildup. It clarifies your hair so that it's gonna leave your hair just fresh. <laughs> it's gonna leave it nice and fresh. It will get dry when the product is on your hair, but once you rinse it out, do like, I like to follow up, whenever I use this, I follow up with a co-wash just to kind of cleanse my head, use my deep conditioner and everything. And I'm telling you, if you want the best wash and go, use a clay mask first. Just, if you're struggling with wash and goes right now, use a clay mask to pull everything out, reset your hair and do a good wash and go so the last one i did i think was like november so i'll probably wait till after this protective style that i'm gonna do for my vacation once i get back i will probably do a reset i like to do this after like a protective style that you've had in for a while it's a great way to reset as well and i learned something new recently one of my co-workers was meant we were talking and she mentioned that she put this under her armpits and i didn't even think about that i was like i use it on my face i use it on my hair i just never thought about that so it's a great way to just kind of detox your armpits as well pull everything out help with odor all that good stuff so i have a video coming soon too that i need to do for hygiene things that i learned that i wish i knew earlier this is probably gonna be in there so yeah that's the first one as I mentioned over here, I like to use a co-wash whenever I use a clay mask. And I finished up another As I Am co-wash. This is the only co-wash that I actually buy. I've been using this since, yeah, I've been natural for five years. I've probably been using this for about three, maybe four of those years. It's a great co-wash. And I don't really co-wash my hair because I tell you guys that I like to just go ahead and use a shampoo and just to make sure especially with my low porosity just to make sure I pull everything out like I'm not trying to co-wash so the only time I really co-wash is like after a clay mask 
or if for example like I did this bun and the bun didn't last the way I want it to last so I'm probably gonna like rinse my hair out tomorrow just to get rid of that gel that I use so I can go in with the gel that works so I'll probably use a co-wash I believe I believe I have some left or I don't remember if this was the only one I had but that's when I would co-wash whenever a product doesn't work I just washed my hair yesterday so since the product is not really doing what I want it to do and I just want to rinse my hair out that is the only time I reach for co-wash if it's been three four not even three if it's been four five up to seven days I'm just gonna use a shampoo so yeah finished up the as I am really nice product too I like to just have it so when I need it I can reach for it finished up another Mayel rosemary mint strengthening hair mask I absolutely love this line I love the shampoo I love the what else they have from this line that I like I think that's pretty much it the shampoo and this deep conditioner absolutely love little drop left in there but pretty much empty I'm hoping that with everything going on with Mayel they will not change anything I'm not gonna buy it back right this second but this is a great deep conditioner that I like to use. All right, so that's that. Not too much to say about it. It's just a strengthening hair mask. Um, it's infused with biotin and encourages growth. It has that peppermint. Ugh, yeah, this is old, I need to throw it away. This is old. But it has that little peppermint. Not too much, but enough to where you feel a little peppermint love the shampoo as well all right moving on to curl smith this was one of the first deep conditioner that i got from curl smith not in i think in 2021 black friday and once i tried it and fell in love with it i bought the bigger size now the orange is from their moisturizing line so that's how i know but this is their double cream deep quencher really really nice you can get it in the jumbo size but this is the eight ounce so I went through that and to go with that I also used up the, the leave-in conditioner this is their oil and cream curl conditioning leave-in cream for curly and coily hair absolutely love it as well Ugh, so they smell so good but yeah if you ever check out curl smith there I love their moisture line I love to get these Black Friday because that's when they have their best sale. I think it's 40% off. I didn't buy any of this last Black Friday because I was I was trying not to spend money. So that's what we did. If you've been following me for a while, you know I absolutely love these. And that video I just shared, what video? I shared a video recently or something where I was talking about, or maybe I was watching my own video. That's probably what it was. But I absolutely love this pre-shampoo. Lately, I haven't been pre-pooing as much as I used to because I just be wanting to get in and get out. But this is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and, Aloe and Coconut Water Detangling Condition Pre-Shampoo. So the way I feel is that my hair is so fine and it's not that big of a head of hair on my head. So I don't really need to detangle as detailed, <laughs> if that makes sense. So if you have a head of hair and you can never just wash your hair, you have to pre-poo. This is a great one and it's affordable. I've gone through about two three of these and i have two sitting in my stash over there love this stuff it makes my hair feel so good i love to do this either after a protective style or just whenever my hair like i let my hair go like let's say i didn't cover my hair for like a week going to bed and now it's tangled and dried by the time i get to wash day then this is my absolute first step before I go in with a shampoo. I actually should have pre-pooed this week when I did this because remember I told you guys that I didn't wash my hair last week. I was supposed to wash my hair but because I was sick I didn't want to just go get my hair wet. So I pushed my wash day an extra four days. So I definitely should have pre-pooed 
and I felt the effects of that when I went to style it and it was combing it out. I was like, yeah, I should have definitely people. So with this being so affordable, I think this is going to be my pre pool for a long time because I don't see anything else out there right now that is as affordable. And I just feel like when I find something that works, even though I'm a product junkie and I'll try new things, when I find things that work, I will circle back to it. So this is a product that I'm going to keep circling back to. I can get it from Amazon, but I mostly get it when I go to my beauty supply store and yeah, I just that's why last time i think i got three of them just to have it and how much are these i thought i had i don't have the price on there but yeah love that so before i tried this before i tried the african pride the first pre-poo that i tried was the one from the main choice so i got this pre-poo on i think one of their sales a couple years back and fell in love with it immediately it is so good like these two right here but this is about 19 dollars between somewhere between 16 and 19 dollars so if i'm gonna choose i'm gonna go with the more affordable one because this is about six to seven dollars i believe i will put it on the screen if i'm wrong but yeah love the one by the main choice and then i had worked with them on a free um so free but i worked with them when they were doing like a little influencer thing a couple years back and they sent me this full line like a couple months after i i had um a couple months after i had bought these myself so i had two of these pre-poos went through them but yeah for the price i would probably only buy this during a really really good sale and just to stock up again, like if they have their five, six dollar sale, I, I'll get a few of them again. But I just feel like this one is more accessible to 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 me. It's uh, more accessible to me and cheaper, more affordable. And I'm gonna go with that option. So we're down to the last product already. Woo woo! Look at that. That was quick and easy. So the last product I finished up in this little stash is my Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Let me tell you, let me tell you, this will forever be in my natural hair favorites. From the very first day I tried it, I wish I could remember like what day it was that I tried it for the first time. I would have to dig deep into my Instagram archive but i was literally on instagram stories and i tried it and i was like wow just wow i've heard about briogeo for a long time i didn't know they were black owned for a very long time and once i finally found out maybe like 2020 somewhere there that they were black owned i was like okay i'm gonna try it so they had i think i bought it the same black friday that i bought um <clears throat> Curl Smith, I bought a bunch of these as well, or I bought a couple products from them as well, and immediately fell in love. I always have a hard time like explaining like what it does to my hair, but let me tell you guys, nothing is wrong with drugstore and nothing is wrong with affordable products. It's just a different feel. I don't know what they put in their products, but something just feels different. Your hair feels different. It's just like an extra, it's just like you do a facial at home, but when you go to like a spa and get a facial, it's a whole different vibe. That's what I feel when I use these products. It's just a whole different vibe. I love to use this. I reach for it a lot. I've been trying to squeeze what I have left of the other one just to make sure it lasts me until I decide to buy. Cause I didn't buy any of these the last Black Friday. Like I said, I was being strong, didn't want to spend money. So I didn't buy any of this stuff that I love, the more expensive stuff Black Friday. So I'm trying to make sure these last, but this is the one I finished up. And a small amount goes a long way. This lasted me months. So yeah. Those are all the products I finished up as far as hair products. Um, 
a lot of my products are like I feel like because I use all my products and rotate them it's almost like I'm never ever getting done that's how I feel but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed these products let me know if um, you've tried any of these products curl smith main choice i don't know what's up with main choice i've really heard anything from them in a long time mael they have their little bit of drama so i'm just gonna wait and see what they do in the coming months i loved our i love mael products that i own i own a lot of their products i've supported for years and a lot of their products work really good on my hair especially the shampoos the deep conditioners i'm not some of the stylers up and down with those but for the most part i have some holy grails in the mile stuff and that oil that went viral with all that drama yeah i was using that oil since day one so yeah i'm just gonna wait and see what they do and there's still some brands out there that i have yet to try such as melanin hair care um is it called my black is beautiful there's some other brands out there pattern i need to try some more products from pattern beauty i still haven't tried taraji p's hair products so there's a lot of, and tia is it tia or, or tamara tia right tia just came out with a natural hair line um at first i wasn't gonna care about it but it is supposed to be sold at Walmart and plus this is content so I can try it for you guys. So at some point if I come across it, I probably will see what's in the collection that I want to try. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.